up. Hey, you're gonna have to back up, dude. Nice job, Big Joe. Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. It's the Big Joe Herd. We are at the Ponderosa. I'm actually in the yearlings pasture. You guys are probably wondering, what in the heck is this white stuff in your uh, pasture? Well, doing a little fly prevention today, putting out some diatomaceous earth. I did this last year. I had a couple of subscribers. You need to put out some diatomaceous earth again. And I said, that is a great idea. I need to do that. That's a good reminder. I've been trying to spray them. You've probably seen a couple of my videos, recent ones of me trying to spray them. Uh, mostly the bulls, Hoss, Big Joe, Dunbar. But now we're gonna try to do an easier job of uh, trying to reduce the flies. And that's by putting this dot to make sure it's out. And uh, so next, we're gonna go in here. Come join us, guys. Come on, Maya. Maya, come on. Come on, Maya. Oh, coming in hot. So all these gals came up here. They thought the bunk feeder was out of feed and I went in and scooped some of it out <laughs> that they couldn't reach. And they're all excited because there's, there's some feed left. So they're all sneaking up here, trying to get some feed. Here comes old Haas, looking good. Yeah, they're all worked up right now. So, but uh, I, I gotta go out here and really, I know that there's a patch right up here where they like to roll but I've got to go figure out some of these places, beat down pass um, to, to really figure this out. Here's one thing I'm excited about. Look at all the uh, brown-headed cowbirds that are back following the bison. Um, they, they all just sort of showed up here in the past couple of days, and that's pretty cool. Um, there's old Haas. Once we find some of the places that they do roll, I'll uh, put out some of this thought to my surf. Close. It's one thing I really enjoy about this Oklahoma Pride Feeder is these easy, uh, you can adjust just by a little pin, you can slide up, you can see all the holes here. You wanna adjust your height and see how much feed you want to let out. Kind of control it that way. So that's nice that they put all these holes in there. So this just slides up and down it and you can have as close as you want or high as you want. But right now I've got them open. You can see the bison on the other side. But what happens is feed gets left here in the middle that they can't reach. You can see it all the way down there. And it piles up like this. So that's why they're getting all worked up. What are you barking at? What are you barking at over there? Huh? I'm gonna pull out and let them let them eat this. All gals, mostly. Let's go find some wallers. What do you say, Maya? Okay. Here's a good one to see. This is an old burn pile that we had 
um, from last spring when we were building this new fence right here the first fence we actually built out here our exterior fence but uh, they come here and you can see the dirt has been pushed to the side but here's a good waller we'll put some out I know they like to lay up here quite a bit in this corner and came over here and look who we have. We've got some guests that came up. Actually was already here waiting on us. The big Joe He's rubbing on the cedar tree. Says, oh yeah, give me a good back scratch. Oh, they're all doing good. Oh yeah, we're gonna hop in the pasture with them here in just a second and get them taken care of. We'll put some out right here. Look at the big guy. What have you been doing? I got something good for you, Big Joe. Try to slow those flies down. But the good thing is, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but the brown-headed cowbirds are back in, in full force, which is really good because they also help on the fly prevention. Um, and they eat lots of bugs and, and flies and whatnot. So that's a good thing. Also, I want to check my mineral tub and see what their intake is with this mineral tub that I just dropped off out here. So I'm going to finish putting some uh, more diatomaceous earth out in the yearlings pasture and all their spots. I know they like to lay. And you can see all this that I already put out is right here. Uh, I know that they like to lay up here quite a bit is because they uh this is the area that they can get close to the big joe herd so that's why they all like being up here together in this area there's a bunch of those brown-headed cowbirds used to be called buffalo birds but um i'm wearing my glasses i'm wearing my mask and my gloves just in case um, but i know it is food grade so that is a good thing and that was from recommendations from you guys last year dusty make sure that you get a food grade diatomaceous earth and that's what we got 25 pound bag and i'm going through it pretty quick out here already and so i'll probably have to pick up another bag at tractor supply on my way across town to see the dunbar herd and get those guys taken care of so let's hop in with them thanks for waiting I know that they like these places like this because anywhere there is loose dirt, um, that's where they like to really dust off and see these places like that. Could probably put some right there. But, and the other thing is my experience with this is they love these burn piles because that's where there's no grass because uh, the fire burn it and then it hasn't regrown. So you've got this loose dirt here and that's where they like it the most. So I just kind of spread out here where I saw a lot of their depressions. But the other thing is too, and I wish they were over here. Uh, the cool part about it is for some reason they like the smell of this or they like the diatomaceous earth. So if they were here right now, they'd have come over and they would have wallered in it.
Hey, you're gonna have to back up, dude. You're too close, big fella. Not gonna let me out, are you? Hey, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Sorry, buddy. I didn't bring cubes for you. Just by the looks of it, I'm gonna squeeze to this other side. They are going through it pretty good. There's the actual container that it comes in, but it looks like uh, somebody had some fun and uh, maybe threw it out here and uh, wonder who it could be. No telling, but um, not pointing any fingers or anything. Uh, somebody had some fun with it and it ended up down here. But uh, as long as it doesn't go in there, which I've had them actually do that before in the past, not this pond specifically, but uh, I've had them actually push it in the pond. I don't know why, but they're getting after it right now, this cow is. So um, just a little extra supplement for them. And I'll have to get that someday. Don't feel like it right now, but let's put some out right here and see what they do. They may waller in it right here. Let's hop back in here, move so this guy's not in our way. stuff out well there's one right there right there on the dirt pile perfect is perfect example told you yeah there we go I'm gonna put some right here get back to the other side here let's pull up here put some on that four wheel Go back to this side. Put some in here. This looks like a bunch of sand to me, but I'm out. They hear the sack, and that's what they think they're getting. Somebody's gonna roll in it. Okay. job nice job big joe that's exactly what i was wanting now it looks like it's all gone nice work stay brown Oh, you can't go. You gotta stay here. You gotta protect this place. All right, guys, we got the Big Joe herd taken care of. We got the yearlings taken care of. Puppy, chickens taken care of. We're gonna head over to the Dunbar place. I'm gonna fly the drone for you this time because uh, I think they'll be a little bit more active and uh because they were last time i really liked it, it was fun to see uh, when I, as soon as i spread this out they got after it so let's go over there and check those guys and see all the red dogs well hello everyone hey it's hot and dry i know there's princess and her baby back there All right, guys, we are at the Dunbar place. 
checking out the herd. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull through. I like this side. This is where there's a, a lot more wallers is, is right over here in uh, some of the same places they've been doing these wallers on for years, for three or four years since I've had them here. So I'm going to take some over there. I had to go stop at Track Supply and get another bag because I used a bunch out at the Ponderosa. So um, we're going to uh, put out a bunch right here. Got these guys taken care of. This is the first place I ever actually did it. I didn't have the Ponderosa yet, and I came out here last year. It was in the more of the middle of the summer, and put this stuff out. And you know, I really ha the flies haven't been that bad with the drought, uh, but kind of after that last little bit of rain that we had, and when I say little, I mean maybe a half inch in August, and greened everything up uh, for a couple weeks. That's when the flies kind of came back, and and they've been pretty bad like I said on the bulls not really the cows but uh, and I don't know weather and all that you know helps the flies so uh, but they've been back and so I, was, I saw a couple of comments I was like I need to go ahead and put this diatomaceous earth out and help them a little bit and you can see there's something about it this one was a little bit different this had some clay in it that's why it's not as uh, white I stopped and got this bag and just try it. It's the same thing. It's food grade uh, There's something in it too that makes them want to roll in it and stuff which is always fun to see but they're not uh, They're not too enthused right now. They're it's in the middle of the day I couldn't this is the only time I could really get over here. So this is like basically nap time for them They're not very active right now came out to see me and heard the bag rattling around and so it makes them think of cubes, but uh, they did go through this uh, lick as you could tell here there was a cow um, on the lick oh looky here 
I need to bring some cubes out for our special girl. I should have had some with me, but problem is, is when you start to feed her, the other ones start to show up as well. So that's just how it goes. It's around Eleanor. They're gonna go over there and get on that um, lick on that tub. But they did the same thing. They knocked it out of it. Take one guess, probably who did that? Our boy Dunbar. So it's one of those things. Uh, they can all come to that lick and but they got after it. I mean, it hadn't been out there very long. Pick this up. Uh, I've got some more. I bought some extra just because I knew I'd probably have to bring more out here. So it um, uh, looks like I'm going to have to bring it out here quicker than I thought. Also, guys, don't forget we are dropping our uh, kind of our fall or beginning of October launch for some new hats. I uh, got a lot of new cool hats that we came up with and then we've got some new shirts right here also as well that'll be a part of it thursday september 29th everything will go live and i got a new flavor of a bison snack stick as well so i'm excited about that and i'm excited to share that with you guys all right i'm going to keep going and putting some of this stuff out on more of the wallers they'll mess with it later and come back and hit it they don't want to mess around right now they say it's too hot <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to move on. to be with mama that's how easy it is for a calf to get through the pants <laughs> hey thank you guys for watching us today thank you for following us along on this journey and being a part of all this goods and the bats thank you guys we'll see you soon